No one is above the law. I think that that's really what this uh, jury uh, has has really let everyone in the United States know. Alliance for a Better Utah director Jeff Merchant says Thursday's verdict proves that even former presidents can be held accountable for their crimes. Everyone needs to take it seriously. Anybody who decides that, um, you know, that this was somehow predetermined or that this was somehow, um, you know, a sham trial um, is, is not being honest with themselves and not being honest with their constituents. But other local leaders disagree. I think this is the greatest illustration of election fraud and election interference. This entire case, the, the, the verdict here today, everything uh, is very well orchestrated by the left. It's a weaponization of our legal system against political opponents. Riverton mayor and U.S. Senate candidate Trent Stagg says he hopes this will convince Utahns to vote to reelect Trump. This is really important for Utahns to, to stop and consider. Uh, they can make some action right now. One local political expert says this verdict could change the political climate here in Utah, and we could see more division as more people mobilize in support of or against President Trump. Those dividing lines, uh, you know, is, is kind of where they were, if they were small or not, are going to become even wider. More polarization will happen. People are going to have to try to explain or defend where they are based on these verdicts, and it is going to be very difficult. Hinckley Institute of Politics Director Jason Perry says many Utahns might be reconsidering how they're going to vote this November. I think that we're going to see as a lot of people not, not looking at this as, as, a, as a happy day, but a day that makes us really kind of look at our system itself. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.